In this video, you're going to learn how you can use mental health chatbots to help with your mental health and emotional well-being. I'm Vince from Digital Menace Suit, and let's get started. So I'm going to show you a quick four different AI-powered chatbots that you can use to help you cope with emotional stress or to improve your mental health. The first one is me, and it's the first digital therapist and coach based on cognitive behavioral therapy. She is at your side to provide mental support for exam fears. She is specifically designed for performance pressure and learning stress and is being tested with students as she is currently in a closed beta phase. Behavioral therapy is a form of mental health treatment that helps people change how they think and behave. Depression, anxiety, and stress are some of the problems it can help to deal with. WISA is a powerful evidence-based treatment for mental health conditions. It's research-backed, widely used techniques of cognitive behavioral therapy, dialectic behavioral therapy, and meditation are used to support you with depression, stress, anxiety, sleep, and a whole range of other mental health and well-being needs. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to mental health treatment. The type of therapy that is best for you will depend on your symptoms and goals, but this tool can help. Talking to WISA is helpful and will never make you feel bad. The privacy of your conversation is protected and your identity will remain anonymous. It will teach you techniques that will help you cope with stress and depression, and it will help and guide you to a qualified professional therapist if you need one for extra support. It also leverages behavioral techniques that therapists can use to help identify different types of anxiety and help you work towards your mental health goals. It is important to seek out guidance from a qualified therapist if you are considering seeking professional help to deal with severe anxiety. Wobot Health, it helps you monitor your mood and learn about yourself with the help of a chatbot. It has a therapeutic framework known as Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Wobot is a very interesting way to use a computer to talk to people about their emotions and life. It's your choice whether or not you want a conversation companion in the form of a bot that helps you to stay positive and healthy. You'll discover what choices are available to you if you book and you sign in. It also helps you manage your emotion and stay on track with the help of a tracking app. And the last one is called Thriveport. Now this is more of a journal. Thriveport is a provider of mood related apps that improve the quality of life. Its mission is to create intuitive and scientifically sound tools to improve your life. The company is the creator of Mood Kit, a cognitive behavioral therapy toolkit, and it's a basically a mood journal. So what you do is you and you, you download the app. It's only for the app store right now. And what you do is you enter your thoughts, you track your moods, and it gives you certain activities to improve it. Let's see, I personally use, let's see, why is it? And it's interesting. I used it for about a month. It's not too bad. Uh, they'll ask you questions every single day, like how are you feeling was the standard one. And then depending on how you answer, it can detect whether or not you're feeling depressed or sad or stressed based on what you say. So if you said, oh, I'm a bit feeling under the blue, it'll ask you a follow-up questioning, such as why are you feeling that way? What events led you to that way? It's quite interesting. It's almost as if you're talking to a human and it basically allows you to look at your emotional issues in a third party, like a kind of like a, as if you're, you're dealing with a friend who has a problem you, know, you can see it like objectively. So it, it does have a little bit of bugs here and there, but I think it's worth a try for those of you who have a bit of anxiety. From what I heard from my friends, they say Mina is very similar to Wiza. So I'm not sure yet. You can go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the chat box below how, how it turns out. And then Wubot Health is, and, and sorry, Wubot Health is basically a, it's the same thing, but it connects you to a qualified therapist. So this is more of a diagnostic tool. And then the last one is Thriveport. It's basically, this is a journal that you take your notes in. And then from there you have different activities and it, you track your, your moods throughout the days, weeks, and months. Overall, I would recommend you try Wise because it has a very uh, clean user interface. It's easy to install. It's not like overwhelming. 
and you, 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 they don't push you to, to buy anything. A lot of like free for, to download apps, they always push you to install something or an upgrade. Uh, when I used it, it didn't really push me that much. Now things kind of changed since then, but I, I had a pleasant experience using this software. All right, so for those of you, I understand that mental health issues, especially now with everything going on, can be difficult and not everyone has the time or money to access a uh, professional therapist. So this might be a, a, a good uh, bridge to help you deal and help you cope with your mental health issues temporarily. And then if you see that it's something serious, you can go ahead and Find, seek professional help if it's really serious, but this will also help you to diagnose, you know, any kind of issues that you have, because that might be the, the main issue. A lot of people can't even see the, the problems that they're having unless they're writing it out. So this is basically what these tools are designed for is to help coax out, coax out the, the issues that you're, you're dealing with. So you can deal with it and see the truth right away. And you can deal with it quicker. So I hope these tools were helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? I'm Vince from Digital Institute. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.